If you're following Depp and Heard, you probably know Johnny's got a lawyer named Adam Waldman. This here is his official Twitter account, now over 40,000 followers, up from 32,000 or something, from when Elon first let him back. But the thing here is he's calling out this guy, Nick Wallace, saying Nick Wallace wrote some fake things in a book. Now, for disclosure, I didn't read it, but the thing is, Nick was somebody who before the trial in Virginia seemed somewhat positive about Johnny. A lot of Johnny fans are following this guy. A lot of people told me I should cover him, something like that, but I don't know. Always seemed like something was off about the guy. Then when the case started, he said something like, I'm going to give this a fair look at things, wink, wink, which kind of meant he was going to go on Amber's side a little bit, and people were kind of shocked. Now, I don't know his full coverage, but it seems to me he did a little switcheroo. Anyway, let's see what Adam says. How's it going, babes? Is that you wrote and released to the public a fake book about my client and his evidence into which you, with the help of others, inserted a fake chapter about me and my involvement in the case called Waldman's World? Sounds like a cheesy name for a chapter. Now let's examine the real world. So looks like Nick tweeted this out. Hey, babes, how's it going? While quoting one of Adam Waldman's tweets that said, those who say don't know and those who know don't say. And Adam features this email he apparently got from Nick that says, Hi Adam, I'm writing a special chapter in my book about you. It's almost turning into quite a weird love letter. I certainly have a considerable amount of respect for what you've managed to achieve. I'd still very much like to interview you to get your insight into what's been going on over the last six years rather than try to reversion the information about you, which is already in the public domain. If I'm saying this word right, reversion. Okay, let's just move on. Even if you don't want to give me an interview, I'd like to put some of the things I hope to publish about you to you first, so you've got an opportunity to correct any mistakes and or take issue with anything I've written. I'd be grateful if you could let me know how to proceed very best, Nick. And then this next email here from a later date somewhat says he's writing the book, but obviously he didn't get in contact with Adam for permission and checking things, checking facts, thinking out what he wants to print and not, thinking out what he wants to print and whatnot. Nick just says here, it would be helpful to speak to you. So apparently... Nick put this out without Adam working with him on it. That seems to be what Adam's calling out. And Mystified says, Wow, he calls the lies he wrote a love letter. He's obviously single. He truly is a clueless opportunist who didn't even watch the trial. How he had the testicular fortitude to write a book about it is beyond rational comprehension. I'll give you a heart. I mean, he must have watched some of the trial but I guess not quite enough. Nick Wallace is a pathetic clown. What a child, you get a heart. I didn't say it, but I read it and I don't disagree. Rachel says, sue him. And this person, Miz, reminds me what I was thinking about. Okay, so apparently Nick Wallace got some fundraising from Johnny Depp fans to go to Virginia and I'm pretty sure he got a good amount. Then when he got there, he was like, well... Let's not take Johnny's side quite yet, guys. You know, we don't want a biased reporter to spread misinformation about the trial, but we want someone going in already with the mindset that we've got some facts on Amber and this better be presented correctly in court. And he kind of didn't fully turn around, but you know, it wasn't exactly what Johnny fans would choose to crowdfund if they knew that would be happening. Anyway, always great to see Adam Waldman. Last week, Adam called out Kat Temberg from NBC News, and now Nick Wallace. So Adam's doing a great job. As you can see, his Twitter account is getting larger. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad about it. If you do, well, then I'll see you next time.